Hello, Year 9. Welcome along, everybody. And welcome to our first virtual lesson of Term 3. Um, some of you will notice that if you are taught by Mrs. Broughton that I am not Mrs. Broughton. And and actually, over the, the course of the next six weeks or however long that we stay in this lockdown situation, you are going to be hearing my voice for your lessons and not hers. However, should you have any questions about the lesson, she is still the person that you need to go to. She'll be able to answer that. You're still going to submit your work to her, but it's me that's going to be taking you through these PowerPoints and these videos, and I will be creating the resources, and she is going to be focusing her efforts on other year groups. So I do know you all, uh, but welcome along. Okay, so what we are going to do is this. We, this term, are going to look at inspirational women. And I'm going to go through with you first the box that is on the right-hand side of the screen. So our objectives for this unit of work is going to be to explore extraordinary females who have contributed in some way um, to society and, and have actually impacted that society. And we'll talk about who those females are going to be as we go through this unit. We're going to explore one specific person today. Um, and then hopefully we're going to build upon that. We are then going to explore how certain women have overcome adversity and review all of the different challenges that they have faced and and why we might call them inspirational. What 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 makes a person inspirational? And we're going to be reviewing that as part of our session today. And then finally, um, hopefully, we're going to be able to use a little bit of drama in order to explore this. And we're going to be really, really creative and experimental in how we do that. However, we're not going to be focusing on drama today. We're just going to be focusing on this inspirational women issue and we're going to be exploring some of those females today and in the opening lessons and then as I say we're going to hopefully turn that into what is going to be a piece of drama. So exciting times ahead. Our lesson objectives for today are going to be in the green box so if you turn your focus to the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to be asking you to uh, to identify inspirational women, people who you think are inspirational and that's going to be down to your opinion and then what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to explain ask you to explain why you think they are inspirational or why they inspire you. And then finally, I'm going to ask you to research somebody who I think is inspirational and somebody who is an inspirational woman to me. And I want you to demonstrate an understanding of her life. And then finally, I want you to kind of discuss and review what what you think about her story and about what she has, has done is inspirational. So we're going to be looking at research initially and then kind of drawing to that final focus of what makes um, my chosen person an inspirational person. She might be somebody that you choose to do your piece of drama on at the end of this topic and and her story might contribute to your ideas regarding that, but we'll discuss that a little bit more as we go through. So, what you are going to need for today's lesson is as follows. You're going to need your drama exercise book. Now, I know that if you are in my classes that you might not have your drama exercise book at home, so you're more than welcome to use note paper um, in order to do this. Please make sure that you have this ready um, as we go through the video. Um, you're going to need access to the internet. Today's main task is a research task. You're going to need access to, to YouTube and to Bite Size and to other internet uh, sites so that you can research my chosen person. And then finally, uh, and you don't need to do this now, you don't need to prepare these now, but you are going to need to think about how you're going to present your research. So you might do that in Microsoft Word, in PowerPoint, in a Prezi. Um, you might choose to write this down and take a photograph of it. How you decide to format that actually um, it doesn't matter, but you will need to consider that as you go through. So drama book or note paper you are going to need now. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video and I'm going to ask you to get that stuff ready and in front of you so that you're ready to follow me through this lesson with the resources in front of you. So please pause your video now and come back when you have these resources available. Okay, welcome back. Right, we're going to start off with the question that is at the top of the screen. What do you think makes an inspirational woman? So I want you to consider the question that, that is above, and I want you to list three to five different features or characteristics or just things that you think might make somebody inspirational, but specifically maybe an inspirational woman. What do you think um, an inspirational person or an inspirational woman looks like? Now, 
you are by yourself, you are at home, you are self-isolating. It might not be easy to do this, but if you do want to discuss this with your family or your friends, absolutely do so. I'm trying to get a range of ideas. I'm going to go through some examples with you, but these are just my opinions. So absolutely um, go and ask go and ask your mum or your sister or your dad. It's really interesting to see what a male perspective is of an inspirational woman and, and so on and so forth. So three to five different features, and I'd like you to write those in your drama book now, please. Um, um, pause the video. You have one minute. Please don't write it in full sentences, just key notes. Pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. Right, so what you will see now on my screen in green is just some of the things that I, I thought when I was thinking about people who inspire me and women who inspire me specifically. Um, somebody who stands up for the rights of others, I think that's pretty inspirational. Uh, somebody who wants to make a positive change within society or within their own life or in the life of other people. Um, somebody who has ex achieved something quite extraordinary. So I was actually thinking of, of, of J.K. Rowling, you know, living in a, living in a council flat, uh, being on the poverty line and and actually writing the Harry Potter series of books and going on to be a multi billionaire, um, I think that that is extraordinary. And and again, the things that she does after that, um, again, you might think are also quite inspirational. And and then the final one, maybe somebody who has overcome hardship and adversity. Now that doesn't necessarily make an inspirational person, uh, but it but it might be that you are even more inspired because actually their life has been so difficult. And how they've overcome that um, is, is an inspiration to you. So again, it doesn't have to be. These are not an exclusive list. These are just some of the things that I came up with. You don't need to write any of these down. Your list is personal to you. Um, but do any of your opinions kind of match up with what my opinions are? Or, or did your opinions, if you spoke about this with somebody in your household, um, did, they, did they match? Uh, and I think that's quite an interesting question to be asking yourself. So... What I now want you to do, if I can focus your attention onto the green box in the bottom right hand corner, your task in your drama exercise book or on a scrap piece of note paper, I'd like you to identify four to five inspirational women. Now, these are of your opinion. And I've got an example on the screen that I'm going to go through with you in a moment. Um, but again, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, I've picked somebody that's political. Um, it doesn't have to be. It can be an author. It can be uh, somebody from the arts community. It could be um, somebody who speaks on United Nation platforms. It can be anybody that you want it to be. But I'm going to ask you to justify why that is. So if you take a look at my example, I've got my circle in my middle, which says inspirational women. I've got a line coming off that that then points to Hillary Clinton. Now, she is a massive inspiration to me, and I've justified that by drawing some lines off her name, and I'm going to ask you to do the same. So, um, she is an advocate for female rights and empowerment across the world. Um, she spoke about when she um, ran to be president of the United States, the glass ceiling, and, and, and crashing that glass ceiling, and hoping, and when she lost that election, she spoke about how she hoped that she had inspired other females to and get little girls to, to run to be president and to show that it can be done. Um, so again, I think that's a really powerful message. It inspired me um, that, that anything really is possible. She was the first female presidential candidate, um, which I think in, in a history that, that started in the 18th century in America is, is quite astounding um, to be that first person. And again, you know, it's arguable that she is one of the most qualified people on earth to be president with all the experiences that she's had. And then finally, she achieved over two million more votes than her male rival in the election. So the way that the um, the American system works, it, it basically is state by state and not by the amount of votes that you get. Um, and the states are worth a certain amount of points. So for example, if you live in California, you are worth 32 points and the person who wins that state gets those points. But actually, she achieved on a, on a vote basis, two million more than her rivals. She is the first female in history um, to win the popular vote in America. And I think, again, that is quite inspiring, um, what she has done. So I'm asking you to pick four to five different females, and I'm asking you to justify them. Now, this should only take you five minutes. Um, I've got my example there. I've got three kind of explanations for that. If there is just one explanation, that's fine. But there's no real right or wrong answer uh, in how you're doing this. Um, these are all personal to you. So 
I'm going to ask you to pause the video now. I'm going to ask you to come back to the video when you have got your four to five inspirational women written down on your piece of paper or in your exercise book. Wonderful. Welcome back. So you will notice and some of you will probably recognize this person. She's very, very renowned um, within our community. And I'm sure she might be somebody that you have discussed in other subjects at school. Um, but my inspirational person that I would like us to look at today is Malala Yousafzai. Now, she might be somebody who you want to explore for a piece of drama. I'm going to hopefully show you a variety of different females in society that you might want to, to look at to create a piece of drama around. Um, but for today, I want you to research her. I want you to know what her life is like. I want you to give me some information about her. And so if you look onto the right hand side of the screen, the research task is as follows. Conduct some research into the life of Malala. Use the following bullet points to structure your research. So the first bullet point, I'm looking for some biographical information. Uh, so where is she from? A date of birth, maybe some key facts around her early life and, 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 and what her life was like in her country of origin and maybe the things that she had to face there. Um, what event changed her life and brought her to England? There's something really specific that happened to Malala that has kind of influenced the way that she has gone forward. But what was it that was really awful that happened to her and brought her to the UK to seek medical treatment? Um, what causes does Malala speak out over? You know, what what is she an advocate of? And I think within your research, that should be quite easy to find. And then you've got the final two points. The first point of that being any additional key facts um, that are interesting I think that's really important. You know, is there anything else that maybe deviates from the list of points that I've got um, that you are interested in and you think are relevant um, that kind of link back to why she might be an inspiration? And then finally, list five reasons why you think Malala is an inspirational woman. I want you to use your research to help you construct these points and and just tell me what about her life has inspired you or do you think is might be an inspiration to others again you know malala um is an inspiration to me but she might not be to you and that's absolutely fine but but why do you think society might see her as an inspiration i'm sure many of you will so some websites that i've got written down in the kind of orangey box at the bottom of the screen are just to help you find your initial pieces of research there to help you find the answers to those points above. So they've got Wikipedia. Now, Wikipedia is not a great example for factual sources, but it really gives you that kind of overview of what her life is about. So it's a really good starting point. Um, there is a biography of Malala on BBC World Asia. And if you follow that link, you'll be able to find that. Again, there's some really interesting points about Malala's life on BBC Bite Size, so you can find that. And then there's a, a YouTube video that's about three minutes long that just summarises her life. And again, if you can't follow the link the the video is called the story of Malala Yousafzai now this task should take you no more than about 30 minutes you can structure this in any way that you see fit if you want to do it as a series of bullet points in a word document that's fine if you want to put it into a poster that's fine if you want to put it into a powerpoint that's fine I want it to be neat I want it to be worth um the time that it is going to take us to read it. So please make sure that it is of the same quality of work that you will be doing in class. That's really, really important. But um, again, I, I can read Wikipedia. Please don't copy and paste the information. Just find the facts and then write those into your own words. If you want to write it in your notebook, that's absolutely fine. And you can show me a video of that. Now, 30 minutes this task should take you now if you don't get to the end of it in 30 minutes stop what you're doing put your pen down come back to this video and then I'll talk about what you will do from then on so pause the video now and complete that task okay finally what you will now see is you've had 30 minutes doing your work and you may or may not have finished. If you haven't finished, I'd like you to spend no longer than 30 minutes extra doing it for homework. OK, so you have 30 minutes extra. It, this task of research should take you an hour maximum. Um, if you have finished it within the 30 minutes, which some of you will have done so, well done. Congratulations. 
Um, you do not need to do anything else apart from submit your work. Now, submitting your work is important. Your class teacher, who has sent you the resources for this lesson, will have given you a due date. And she, or myself, will have explained the way that you need to submit that work. So it might be through Microsoft Teams, it might be via email. And they will explain in detail the work that they want from you. Now, please make sure that you you follow those deadlines, that you submit the work as and when um, you are requested to do so. And thank you very much for engaging within today's session. Uh, it's been a really unique process. I hope that you found it useful. I hope you found it engaging. Stay safe. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.